Hi everyone, welcome back to Happy Acres Mini Farm. Well, it's been a great week, a big, 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 crazy week. We've been planting and ready to build a chicken tractor. That was last week. Re took it apart, reassembling it. Anyways, banana peppers, we have banana peppers. We do. Um, didn't realize that we actually have the banana peppers coming up in these two rows. Um, there's a, it's not all the green, but some of the green, but we're getting there. Um, and then the cucumbers are coming up. This row is going to be for um, radishes. We're going to be putting radishes in here. Um, and then what we're going to do is slice a, another row closer to this. And we're going to trim out a little bit more at the bottom here. Trim out a little bit more uh, of the leaves. And we're going to add another row of cucumbers in here. Um, these are our, um, they're not doing the great. I, I think I over trimmed that one there. Not a good idea. Don't do that, Jay. Anyways, this is all our yellow squash. Um, and then this, I tr cleaned out all the weeds. I'm gonna do a better job. Gonna close that off a little bit better. Um, so we have that. Um, and then we're gonna plant more. Uh, yeah, come pl we're planting more. And this is the broccoli that's been in. The cauliflower, still have to get to two things of weeds, which is fine. Um, I'll get to that um, just by getting it wet and then pulling out the weeds makes it easier when the soil is moist it does make it easier we're going to have to thin out some of this we'll probably take off some of the leaves as well yes if you can't tell that's the this group here this group here is the um, watermelon and then these two groups here that are in this row those are cantaloupe mm -hmm. uh, we are also uh, weed matting so we don't get any more weeds in here um, but this is a four foot mat. We're gonna cut that in half and tuck that under to have two foot because we don't want to waste. But we do need to make sure that we get rid of the weeds out of this area. Um, we do have um, Texas Longhorn manure. Apparently it, uh, it's the rage of the town. It is. <laughs> um, and then we have a weed mat back there. That is going to go to the backfield and we're gonna put collars and things like back there. Um, we're gonna cut that fencing in half and use that back there as well. There is another fence sitting in the, um, the uh, shed. The shed is built. The shed is built. I am so happy the shed is built. Anyways, we have um, the corn. Mm -hmm. The corn's coming up very well. This center group is not doing as good as the ends um, and they do have copper in them. I will show you some interesting things that are happening close to where the copper is. Um, these are our, our peppers. That is a um, morning glory, moon glory. Um, the tomatoes are done. They are trimmed out. I should not have trimmed them as much as I did on this group, but it's okay. Um, the, this group was my last group and I, re I did watch videos of how to do it because I didn't know how. And you leave a lot more on here, especially with the way that this system, the root system I did, what it is is that it, it's actually laid down. So you're having roots over here and over here. So you can actually do what I did and save a lot more, which I did not do. So we won't have as many tomatoes right now, but we will get tomatoes. Um, and so the sugar snap peas are up. We, uh, we actually had them. We had a zucchini and uh, for dinner. And then we have, um, what is it called? Um, cucumbers. So these are our sugar snap peas. These I think look the best right here. These guys are nice and flat here. Um, where we have some that are a little chubbier. They have, where you crack, you can pop them open here and you're able to eat the pea out of it. They're not supposed to be showing peas, they're supposed to be sugar snap peas. They're supposed to be small and thin, but they're not. Oops, excuse me. So here's one, sugar snap pea. Oh, five second roll, it's a pea. We're eating them. And so the sugar snap peas are on the right. And on the left are our shelling peas. They're not up yet. They're getting there. Once they are done, we're going to strip the whole area. And we're going to take a group of them. And we're going to save those seeds, dry them out for a, another group. And then we're going to reseed the entire area to continue. Because it takes about two months for them to uh, grow and then get done. These are our beans. That's a weed. These are our beans um, that I planted and that these will be actually beans. Um, so we have that mesh that's gonna be put up on these poles and go all the way back and we'll have that. Um, we did get um, frost cover for our microgreens. Unfortunately, 
it actually fell apart literally while it sat here in the garden. I didn't even have it a month. I had it out here for three days and it literally disintegrated. I don't understand it. It's being sent back. There is another one ordered. That'll be in Monday. We can put that up. But what we will do is we actually will pull this entire row out, de-weed mat it, and fill it with all the microgreens and cover it up so it stays under there. And we're gonna have microgreens, spinach, and a couple other things. We might actually also do um, where the banana peppers are. And we might actually um, try to do them all winter. I'm not sure if we can, but we'll see. And this is actually our, um, our electroculture area for people to come and sit. Um, we were, we're working with the uh, farm outreach. Um, and what we're gonna do is um, they're gonna put a brochure together. People are gonna come and sit in the garden and I'm gonna have a bamboo umbrella or a small umbrella, uh, a bamboo mat and people can come and sit. We're gonna get, see if we can get that fountain going, at least something, a bubbler of some sort, just a little bit of sound, a little bit of tranquility music, but we're actually making this uh, pretty cool. We're gonna do, we're gonna bury the um, headboard. This way, if they wanna lay down, they can lay down. Um, but yes, they will be uh, coming out and visiting the farm. We had a, a couple of friends come out and visit the farm. They actually took their shoes off and sat down. Their feet actually started tingling while they were out here. And they said their bodies felt better for days afterwards. So that is actually fantastic. This really makes me feel good. You know, knowing that what it does for us and heals us, our bodies. Anyways, this two rows here, this is more corn, by the way. Yeah, well, since this is all coming up, I figured we'll just plant some more corn. So the back row is corn, a whole nother row. It's five packets. And then we did um, Brussels sprouts. I know that I think it takes two or three years for the Brussels sprouts to come up, but that's gonna be a whole giant row over there. Uh, we do have the poles to put them up and we have to do, oh, by the way, um, this is called the Florida weave, how they weave the, the strings through the tomatoes. They call that the Florida weave, which is a little bit easier than spiraling it up the tomato because there are multiple. So it, it is a little bit different. Um, and so uh, what I did want to show you, which I found very cool, which happened to a friend of mine, Bonita, last year. She put corn in, but she had the copper wire. And where the copper wire was, you actually had this happen. She actually had five stems come off. We have one, two off the side shoot of an original. Looks like we're gonna have it here again. Um, and I'm gonna monitor this. I think that's pretty interesting because copper wire is right there. Um, so that's actually taken pretty good root. So we're gonna see how this actually works out. If we get five corn per stalk, it'd be fantastic. But we do have, we do have a lot of corn. <laughs> and yes, I was a child again. And I did walk down the middle of it. I did because it is rows. So you can actually see the row. <laughs> Good. So I actually did walk down it. I thought it was fun. Um, anyways, I just wanted you to see how we're doing. I'm st we are still not done planting. We still have a lot more planting. We have to fill this all, whole space. So we have a couple more weeks that we're gonna plant and then we're gonna have to be done with it. Uh, like I said, we have carrots, radishes, turnips, beets, microgreens, um, and then a bunch of uh, other vegetables we'll be putting in pots. But we have this all set up. And here's the back area of what it looks like. We have some um, uh, elephant, e uh, elephant ear. Um, there was a, a lavender, but it's not doing great. Um, so we're gonna see if we change that out and put something else in there. Just do the elephant ear. We have a strawberry plant here. Um, like I said, we're gonna put bury this in the ground um free pallets we'll always figure something out with them but anyways i wanted you to see what we're doing here on the farm it's a fantastic day here at happy acres mini farm feeling so blessed to have this place it's just fantastic uh, we have to go to holly hill by the way if anybody knows holly hill over on 14 the antique place fantastic fantastic people um they were at the Legion Riders and they gave us marbles. I made, I, I paid for them, but they're really cool. What I'm gonna do is decorate and add to the copper wire, all this copper wire is put a, a, a marble inside that to give it a little color in the garden. I thought that'd be nifty. Okay, nifty, yes, we use those words here. Anyways, we want you to see how we're doing here on Happy Acres Mini Farm. Have a great day, everyone, and God bless. Bye now.